Hi everybody, welcome to the Magnolia Slide Now Show recording. Just kidding. Uh, today I wanted to show you a new app which is meant to help with campaign management. Normally this would be a blog post, but I thought why not try something new here and record the post as a video instead of writing it down. Also because I'm too lazy to write it down. Any of you who previously tried to organize marketing campaign know that to roll it out there are many different pieces of content that need to click together at the right time and to orchestrate the whole thing might be quite difficult. Well, there are many things outside of Magnolia where we have no influence and can't help whatsoever. There is a number of things which we can do or which Magnolia can do for you to help to aid the task. On top right, you see the new up here called, well, what a surprise, campaign manager. So let me open it up. You will see there is a number of things which are already there from my previous try. And I already started doing this campaign as well. So let me delete it and start fresh. Thank you very much. So we create a New Year's Eve campaign. New Year's Eve. Do I have something relevant? We have the campaign, I can start adding the content here, but realistically what normally happens is that you are editing your pages or your assets or other things. So maybe you see I already modified home page to say Happy New Year. So I add that to my campaign. I just have to pick the right one, New Year's Eve. Maybe I'll add a few more pages, which I know I will be modifying. So maybe there will be some historical announcement, which we put on the history page. Maybe I'll have something in news and events, and there is New Year's Eve. Uh, we have New Year's Eve, so I add a New Year's Eve. Yep. Okay, we have this. Any news announcement? Maybe we will present the annual report at the New Year's Eve. Okay. Maybe I will add some pages from some other site as well, like the latest news. Maybe you will have something shopping, info, special prices, anything else you want to add. Maybe I want to add also some images into my campaign or some videos. So let's see what we have here. Maybe this one. Add to a campaign, New Year's Eve. Maybe some other image. Okay, let's add this. Maybe I want to add even like a whole folder of images. So let me add that. Here's Eve. Just to complete this example, probably you will also modify some templates to maybe have some special announcements or to show some special. Let's see. Uh, text image component will have something special so I will add it to the campaign as well voila maybe I will have also something in resources some JavaScript some CSS that I'll be adding so let me add that maybe script loader plugin needs to be changed to add some special operations for this campaign maybe this one as well or maybe some CSS actually instead Okay, let's add some CSS as well. Last but not least, maybe you will be doing some virtual URI mapping to have some special landing pages or whatnot. So let's add some of those as well. What do we have? Maybe here we can find something. Okay, so let's add a new URI mapping to the our campaign okay now we should have plenty of content usually that would happen over a couple of year uh, days but just to speed it up so you don't need to wait for a long recording I did it all now and you see that now in my campaign I see that there is number of pages there is number of assets folders templates resources there is even some configuration you see immediately activation status of those things so you know what's active what's modified what's not each of those pieces you can also immediately preview. So you see the page, okay, that's good. Let me close it. I go back to campaign. I mark it as reviewed because the page looks good. I can do the similar thing for the images, so I can preview the asset. Say, okay, it's this image, it looks good, so 
very cool i'm happy with it and let me go back to my campaign manager again i mark it as reviewed maybe i have a look at the template as well because i'm not sure what the developers did there oops i reviewed it already very good yeah okay template good, looks good as well going back to campaign manager well anyway i'm happy with all the stuff which is done here i'm trusting my developers so i mark it all as reviewed well done at this point my whole campaign is reviewed as well. Now you might ask yourself what happens if somebody goes and actually edit the piece of the page. So let's try it and see what happens. So let's see, somebody goes here and tries to change the title of the page from Happy New Year to Happy Year 2015. Save changes, you see the page is still modified here, but if I go back to my campaign, I have a look at the campaign, you will see that the campaign itself is now not reviewed anymore. And that the page is actually, a review of the page is Umbra as well, saying yes, I did review it in the past, but it changed since my review, so I should review it again. You've seen already the preview functionality, so I just mark it as reviewed, all is good. And now the most important thing is that I actually go and publish all the content. It will take a few seconds, but what happens is that all content is being versioned. At the same point, the content is also being marked or getting comment uh, saying that uh, it was activated as part of the campaign. Maybe I can even show you. So let's see. Versions, show versions, and there is a campaign New Year's Eve as a version, so I know that this was version this was actually part of the campaign the campaign itself keeps existing unless until you delete it so you can delete the campaign and get rid of it for good otherwise it will be there and you can monitor its progress you can see what's happening of course this is just an early prototype of such an app it does some things it can do much more it can pull in the pages based on the dependencies it can provide you with the bulk export import etc but the aim here was really to show you how you can do such apps and to give you some basic framework or some basic functionality which you can extend and you can build your own campaign management based on it. So I hope you all liked the recording and you are happy with the app and looking forward to start your own development. By the way, the code for this app is in our internal sandbox repo. If you want it, maybe by the time you are watching it, it's already published somewhere. If not, just ask and we will give it to you. And hope you enjoyed the show. Ciao.